The best of Ontario's wines are being honoured at the 30th annual Cuvée. Almost 50 wineries are here at the Scotiabank Convention Centre alongside 12 gourmet food stations. It's a three-day celebration that kicks off every year with the industry's annual awards. Well, tonight's event is all about um, excellence in VQA wines. Uh, so we've got 48 wineries, each pouring the winemaker's favourite. Uh, we've also got 12 culinary partners, um, all um, doing live uh, at their live cooking stations. I'm at Brock University, really proud to uh, host Cuvée. This is our fourth year and actually the 30th um, annual uh, Cuvée Grand Tasting. You mentioned the winemaker's favorites and that's a big focus inside Cuvée tonight. Yes it is. We're very proud of that. It's not just about um, the you know the wines that are being poured. These are the winemakers favorites. So they're not going to put out just any wine. These are their favorite wines. Um, many are award winning. Those wines are unveiled here at, uh, at Cuvée. Um, no one knows what those wines are until they come to the tasting. So it's a surprise. The partnership between Cuvée and Brock University's Cool Climate, Onology and Viticulture Institute has been a very fruitful one. Over its four years, it's raised over $100,000, all going towards scholarships and research. Covey, the Cool Climate, Onology and Viticulture Institute at Brock University, has uh, been graduating um, students in the Onology and Viticulture program now for about 20 years. Um, so it was a natural, um, a natural fit for us to take on the role of hosting um, the Cuvée Grand Tasting um, because it brings together the education and research um, that's going on within the uh, Niagara Peninsula and beyond. Grant, winning this scholarship tonight, what does that mean to you? Well, it means a lot to me, especially being from BC. It's, uh, I'm actually ineligible for a lot of the Ontario uh, student awards. And so for this to kind of happen towards the end of my degree, it's a huge honour. What brought you all the way to Ontario for your studies? Well, back home there's a college called Okanagan College that does a couple two-year programs. But uh, for me, I kind of wanted to go all the way with it. I was encouraged by a former employer at a winery called Ex Nihilo back in BC to pursue the degree program and Brock's the only one in Canada and they're quite renowned so it was, the choice was pretty easy actually. When you come to an event like Cuvée 2018, you see all of the wine industry in Ontario gathering in this one building. That must be almost overwhelming. It is a bit. It's my first year at Cuvée. Last year I was a driver. It was my first year in Ontario last year. So for going from being a driver, then going back home and doing homework, to now being celebrated as a scholarship winner, it's a, a great honour. And yeah, I mean, it's great. I'm looking forward to trying all the wines finally. I've only had a chance to hit a couple select few. As a, as a student, you're not really uh, going to have the pocket money all the time for nice wines. So yeah, it's going to be great. Dr. Firon, the partnership between Cuvée and Brock University it's become very important over the last few years. Absolutely. This is an opportunity for Brock University to partner with the industry and really bring an amazing event uh, to the Niagara area as well as to the whole uh, country as well because individuals from right across the country come to recognize uh, the outstanding products and the outstanding activity that happens in this region in terms of the grape and wine industry. And what a great event to honor for students who receive scholarships from the money raised at Cuvée. Uh, yes, in fact, over $100,000 have been raised over the years, and this supports uh, the uh, new generation of individuals that will make some of the innovations and do some of the research that will contribute to the competitiveness of this industry. Uh, we're known worldwide, of course, uh, in terms of what happens in, in the industry, and uh, it's the kind of innovation, the kind of research that goes into it. So it's, it's wonderful to see the entire community come together to be able to support the new generation of researchers who will be a part of this industry for the future. Well, there's a, a number of awards that, uh, that happened this evening. Um, we had, the, of course, the scholarships that were, uh, were announced by uh, Dr. Debbie Ingalls, the director of Covey. Uh, we have the Tony Aspler Award um, given to Sue Ann's staff. Um, and the Cuvée Viticulture of Excellence Award um, given to um, the top um, red uh, vinifera grapes um, grown, and that was with Albrecht Seeger. So the, the Cuvée 
Winemaker of Excellence Award. This is the first year that that award has been uh, been announced. Um, we had the great pleasure of the icon uh, Donald Zeraldo give out that uh, that particular award to Angelo Pavan uh, from Cave Spring Cellars. Sue Ann, the Tony Aspler Cuvée Award of Excellence. Did you have any clue this was coming tonight? I had no idea whatsoever. It's a complete and utter surprise. So I'm just so honored. I just think of um, who all was in the room and. Uh, they're like, are you sure? You are you sure? Because uh, there's so many wonderful people in this industry that deserve this award as well. So, a little emotional up on the stage. Recently lost your father, and this award really must make you think a lot about about him. Right, it makes, that just makes me teary in itself. But uh, and you know, it's been three years since my father passed. But even still, he was such a commanding force and such a uh, a huge inspiration. As were my grandparents and um, and the rest of my family as well. So, um, and I just thought, you know, uh, there's so many people that have contributed so much to this industry like my father and and uh, Carl Kaiser and John Marinus and there's so many people that are that are part of this industry to make it what and who we are today that uh, that I'm sure they're having their own cuvee upstairs and celebrating with us are you heartened by the fact that there are a lot of female students at the uh, Brock program the CCOVI Right, the the landscape of winemaking is changing substantially. There, we see far more women entering the the workforce. That's fantastic, um, and interesting. Like, um, looking in Australia, that 50% of the winemakers are women now, and it also kind of shows how uh, things have changed in the cellar as far as um, our impressions and the workload and how that all gets spread as well. So, um, it's a far better um, world where it's uh, in the cellars for for women to be there now. Looks great, thank you so much. While the winemakers are pouring the fruits of their labor, I'm going to be enjoying the fruits of my own labor right here at Cuvée 2018. Reporting for The Source, I'm Mike Balsam.